Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a chatty crochet with me. In this video, I am working on one of my Etsy orders, which was this goth doll. Uh, it's already been sent off to the customer, but you'll see at the end of the video what the doll looked like. Uh, and it was a fun order. I really liked it. Uh, it took longer than expected though, and was definitely a lot bigger than expected. Uh, I think you'll see um, pictures with like measurements uh, later in the video so you guys can see just how big this doll turned out to be. Um, but yes, so let's catch up first on some housekeeping. If you have not been on the community tab for my channel lately, um, you might not know, but we have switched the schedule to just Monday and Friday uploads with the Wednesday uploads being dropped for the time being. Um, I have a lot of writing job work that came in, so I need to do a lot more time to that, which the first thing that had to go was uh, some of the YouTube content that I put up. Uh, because now that I'm getting like ever so slightly better, uh, it takes a lot longer than it did in the beginning when I did not know what I was doing and didn't hardly edit anything. Uh, so yes, I don't plan to keep it just two days a week forever. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to go back to, you know, the usual schedule Monday, Wednesday, Friday after I like catch up, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, also at some point here coming up soon, I am planning on taking a full week off. My birthday is June 6th. So I was thinking of taking my birthday week off, but my daughter's birthday is like the following week. Uh, well, at least her birthday party is. My party is going to be the 3rd and hers is going to be the 10th. Her birthday isn't until like the 18th though, technically. But for one of those, I'm planning on taking the week off just to be able to like have family time and have one less thing to worry about basically. You know, some relaxing time if you will. Uh, so yes, there's that. Uh, if you have not seen my last video, it is how I gamify market prep. Uh, so you guys should watch that. I'll link that right here, but I wanted to mention that because my next video going up after this one is going to be my craft show tips. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that because I mean, they're pretty good. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think they're helpful. Okay. I lied. I just checked the craft show tips video is not the next one, but the one after that, the next video is the unboxing for uh what i picked out for our winners so you'll definitely want to watch that so you guys can get excited for our next giveaway at 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours so you could see the kind of stuff that you have a potential to win uh, i spent a decent amount of money not like tons and tons uh, because like i don't have that much to spend but i do i do think i gave away like a pretty fair amount of stuff you know it was like worth it to like be entered and to be like watching the content I think uh if you disagree feel free to let me know and let me know what kind of stuff you'd like instead but I would have been excited if I won the things that I gave away so that's kind of what I based it off of but yeah if you guys disagree like definitely let me know um I don't want to spend money on stuff you guys don't like or don't care about you know <laughs> if I'm gonna be spending the money anyway I want to make sure that you guys are pleased with the like end result um so that video is next. And the video after that is going to be my top tips for selling at craft shows, specifically crochet craft shows, because I know there's some videos that already exist in, you know, the craft show niche, but there's not very many that's related to amigurumi. Um, so, you know, that's the whole reason behind doing that one. And that's exactly the kind of video that I was looking for when I first started. And like I said, there's not much out there in that regard. A lot of the crochet craft show videos were related to selling clothes, which I don't do. <laughs> but yes, what else? I think that's it for information like regarding the channel. Um, so we could talk about like personal stuff. What are you guys up to? Do you have kids like out of school now? What's your day like? Let me know. I'd like to get to know you guys better. I'll tell you that we just got a dog. He's kind of on a trial run with us because he's like a bit of a special case. Um, he's not aggressive or anything, but he just seems like he might be better suited for somebody with older children or, you know, just like a single couple. Um, because he is not 
like I said, not aggressive, but he's protective of his things. He came from like an abusive situation originally. The couple I got him from, they weren't like abusing him or anything. Um, the girlfriend just has like hypoallergenic dogs and this is not a hypoallergenic dog. Uh, so the issue is, you know, with her basically. So they're looking for another home for him. And I like him. I think he's a sweet boy. If I did not have a toddler, like there'd be no question we'd be keeping him. But we do have a toddler and the toddler really wants to play with the dog. But the dog is pretty wary about playing with the toddler. And when the toddler like go, goes near his toys to like throw up to him, um, he gets a little growly. Like he's not like gone after my baby or anything. But yeah, so I feel bad for him because I want to keep him. But like I need a dog that's going to be suitable for the whole family, not just like half the family. So hopefully he like settles in and it gets a little better. Though we did think about getting another dog that would be more specifically geared toward like my son uh, and like my other kids to play with. And we still keep him anyway because he is he's very mild mannered in most regards. Like, this dog does not make, like, any noise unless there's, like, an absolute, like, reason to make noise. Uh, he comes when called. He, like, sits and, like, lays down. And he just kind of meanders around. And he's fine. Um, but he's just not, like, a super playful kind of guy. Which, that's kind of, like, the style of dog I prefer. You know, low-key chill. But when I considered getting another dog for, like, our family, um... I wanted one that could be like played with by the kids. So mistakes were made and I have a rogue pin lost somewhere inside of her head. Feels like it's over here uh, that broke as I was taking it out. I had to pin her hair to like sew it. So I've been de-stuffing her head trying to find this pin because I cannot give this to the customer with a pin lost inside her head, especially because the t customer plans to give this to her child. It's an older child, but I mean, either way, we cannot have a pin lost in the doll's head. What happened was a couple of my pins were really secure and the top of the pin came off. I was able, as it was like happening, to retrieve those other ones, but one of them went into the head because like the hair cap is like sewn on over the head. So it just basically disappeared below the hair cap and then I could not get it. So I've just been pulling stuffing out and trying to dig, pulling stuffing out and trying to dig until I can get the pin. So that's good, that's fun. I like, we're gonna have to take a lint roller now to the doll's hair too because now there's like little white bits everywhere oh, i feel that way about it too judah oh and in trying to get it i uh, stabbed myself too so that was fine. pretty much exactly why we gotta get it thank god okay crisis averted doll still looks okay just gotta restuff her and get rid of her fuzzies and then we are back in business the original dog we have is sammy and sammy is also a special case um and she is just like bowl in a china shop so it's hard for someone my toddler size to play with it, her also so yeah it's just about finding like the right fit for like the kids um but yeah do you guys have pets what are your pets like do you know where i can get a pet because the dogs around where i live seem to all be pit bulls and now before anybody comes at me i do not have any sort of issue with pit bulls i'm just looking for a smaller breed dog because we have some jank steps in front of our house uh, so I want to like be able to carry the dog down the steps, uh, and I'm weak and I'll have my baby on like the other side of me. So I need to be able to like carry the dog in one arm and like carry the baby in the other arm down the steps. So like it can go outside. Uh, there's also no step out of the back of our house. So it's basically like a foot drop. So I'm just looking for something, you know, that I could help out of the house because like as it gets into like its older years, I don't want it to like break its back basically like on our steps. You feel me? So no issues there. Just looking for something a little like smaller, uh, preferably like 30 pounds or less. But yeah, so that's my news. Well, that's enough about my dogs. Uh, what's everybody watching these days? I've been re-watching Charmed and Supernatural and Gilmore Girls. If you ever come over to my house, there is like a 95% chance that Gilmore Girls will be on just playing in the background because I've seen that series so many times going back to like when it came out that uh, it's just like a comfort show that I have on in the background. Like if I need to focus on something, I'll put it on and like turn it down to like five so I could just barely hear it and then like I'll do work that way. Um, or if I like really, really, really need to focus, sometimes I'll go to YouTube and get like moving screen saver type videos and I'll put that on because there's like very low ambient noise. Um, but yeah, if I'm just like getting some stuff done, I'll play some Gilmore Girls. I would like it. 
And then I had just finally, I was like a couple years behind, caught up on Supernatural and finally seen how it ended. Um, I still am processing that. So to work through my processing of that, I won't give spoilers in case you're like me and a thousand years behind. Um, to process that, I just started rewatching it because, you know, if you've seen it, you know. <laughs> and then, I don't know, something like triggered my desire to watch Charmed, even though I've probably rewatched that two or three times in my life. Um, but I just like that. Like, if you can't, like, tell the vibe, I like that kind of supernatural show situation. So if you have recommendations like that, like, let me know. Um, but I also have a habit of, like, rewatching shows that I've watched before. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me, but my boyfriend pretty much makes fun of me for it. <laughs> but yeah, if you have show recommendations, let me know. And I think that's going to be all for today's video. If I still have like time on this, I'll just throw some music under it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.